Uh, let us take you now into what's been described as the weird and wonderful fantasy world of William Blake. He's still best known for his poetry, but now a new exhibition at Tate Britain tells the story of his life growing up in Soho through his artwork. Sonia Jessup went to take a look ahead of its opening later this week. How well do you know William Blake? A poet, but also a painter, a printer, whose imagery of myths and monsters is now celebrated in this major exhibition at Tate Britain, but dismissed as the work of a lunatic in his lifetime. This is really a kind of once in a generation opportunity to see these works, which are very rarely seen in public. All Blake's um, works are, are, are stored away usually in museums because they're very light sensitive, you can't show them for long, um, and many of his best works are distributed around the world. Blake lived in London for almost his entire life. The show leads you through his early years in Soho, his training at the Royal Academy, and to Lambeth, where he printed many of his illuminated books. London as almost kind of allegorical, mythical figure uh, runs through his art. So his art, as much as it's cosmological and fantastic and revelatory, is rooted in his experience of contemporary London. Well, today it's a tower block in Soho, but this used to be the spot where William Blake's family home stood. Born here in 1757, his dad ran a shop downstairs. And it was here years later that he held his first solo exhibition. It was a disaster. The, the exhibition went really badly. There was only one published review and that dismissed Blake completely. We know there was only a handful of visitors. So it was a real disaster in Blake's career and he withdrew from public life um, after that. But now that show is being given a second chance. Tate Britain's recreated it here in a mocked up version of that small Soho space. Hopefully this, is, this will create a real sense of atmosphere that you'll see these works by Blake, not in a kind of clinical gallery setting, but in the sort of room that they would have been seen um, in 1809. And nearby there's a giant projection of those paintings, showing them as the huge frescoes he'd hoped but never managed to produce. Blake fans may also enjoy this, the upcoming BBC fantasy drama, His Dark Materials. Author Philip Pullman has credited Blake as a major influence. And it's hoped this show will introduce the artist to a new generation of fans. Sonia Jessup, BBC London, Tate Britain.